Good morning. This yesterday I forgot to prep snack for my children, so I'm going to work on that and I will walk you around. I like to keep the kids' toys in the basement, and what I did that's how I declutter the toys. I use totes like this and I sort through the toys and put them in totes and put numbers on, it, on them. So what I do is I have all the toys here in the basement. In those totes and I have numbers on them. And this one has puzzles. I believe the bottom one has puzzles as well. I have blocks in those here. So what I do is, oh, we have games that we can play together as a family in both dots here. So the toys are in those containers there. And we have this one I can open it for you to see. puzzles they have puzzles here as well I got those containers those IC containers from a bakery session at the grocery store for free just wash it on the top and I use it I use them for a lot of things and here they have wood blocks That helps a lot getting get their room clean up. Before they used to have their toys in their bedroom and it's hard for them to be organized to put their toys away for me to clean their room because all of those toys were in their room. Finally I decided to leave them in the basement. So what I do is I'll bring one container up for them. They'll hide in their room for some time. And then I'll bring it back and I'll bring up another container to be able to know what, I, what to bring next. I put numbers on them. I used to use this for oats, whole oats. But then I changed it. When I ran out of it, I just use it for the toys. And this is number three. So I have numbers on them. I think this is blocks as well if I can open it now they have those blocks in here as well and those are number three I can take those two out for them together and what I do, I just leave the lid in the basement. I know my kids will break those lids very quickly. So that's a lid of the container I'm bringing to them. And here they have their dolls. Everything about, you know, those dolls. Cooking and things like that. They have them here. The bottom, which is number one, I cannot see it there. This is number one. It has electronics in them for it, for them. Yeah. It's not a lot in the container. It make it easier for them to put things away very quickly. When I ask them to put their toys away so I can clean up. Yeah, they do that. 
easily. Here I have games that we can play together or they can play by themselves. They went on sale at Walmart and we purchased them. I don't let and this one I will just take one game out for them to use and I'll put it back here. We have games here and logo. Some are open, some are not. So we have logos and some games. There. And those are the toys that my kids have. I, I think I have another one here. If I can move this. books in this container as well. So those are my kids toys. But after going through the toys and the chlorine, I uh, was left with those empty thoughts. They are empty. And I have those here that has their toys in it. So what I do is I'll take this one yesterday they told me to put the puzzles that I took out for them away so this time I'm taking this one before it was number four now it's number five so when I come down I just I don't even think I just look at the number that is on the bus and I know the next number I need to take up for them and that's what I do it really help decluttering their toys to a minimum help keep my basement a little bit organized. It's not perfect, but it's a little bit more organized and their room is well organized as well. It's so easy for me to clean up their room. They all they, they just have to play with those toys here or get creative. And when I ask to put toys away, it's so easy for them to do it because they just have to put those stars away. snack. I like to do that during the, the night before. But since I didn't tell, now I'm going to do But I need to put some water on the stove for the lunch box. My husband purchased this actually. Maybe a sunny phone. And that's the bread that I use for some. So we save more than we than it costs us a dollar for the food. I mean I like to I think that's that's the original cost green idea. I like to buy it. And just put it in the freezer. 
So I'm going to just take it to my freezer. I don't know if I have space in my freezer. Otherwise, I'll put it in the meat freezer. I have three chest freezer. And I like to keep this one. You can see I have one here. Let's use this one all out of here. So assuming, I just assume that well, we might have some just once a week. So I like to have about four on hand. On, in addition to that, uh, if on Wednesday, I like to serve kids bread. So I mean, bread and butter just uh, for lunch. And sometimes during the morning, I will serve them sandwich for breakfast. our light soap. That's all we use as soap in our house. It's very good for washing dishes, showering, or washing hand in the bathroom. I think I'll put those here. My house. So when I have a wet towel like this, I'll just, and this one on the floor, I'll just take them to the basement. As you can see, I woke up this morning with my house organized. I don't need to do any cleaning this morning. I just need to take, to work on my business a little bit and get the kids ready for school. I like to shower them in the morning. So it can take me about, at least an hour and a half to get them ready for school. So I'll bring those towels here. I like to keep the one that we mop the floor with together and the one that we clean dishes with separate. I wash them separately, but I just hang them here above my washer. Probably my husband brought this back. He took a soup to work for lunch. So I'll put it there and I'll get the kids. The lunch box out. I don't buy a sh trash bag. I just use grocery bag as trash, and I just hang them to the doorknob, and they work. Just, they work just fine. So I like to air dry the water container. That's why I make my counter here quite busy. So unless it's Friday, Saturday I'll put them away. But during the week I'll just air dry there. And then they'll take it the next day to school. This one is not completely dry, so I'll just leave it here with the lid out there. I'll use those for the snack this morning. So Get them out, they are just one cup size. See how many I will need.
I stuffed them spaghetti. So if you have a young kid that that will go through your draw and play with your utensils, yeah. Well, one way I found when my youngest one was barely a year old and will pull, draw, and play with things. One way I found that was very useful for me was just to use those jars and cups and sort out my silverware. That will keep them clean. And no baby hands will touch them. So, and ever since I just kept it like that. Now he won't do that, but it just work for me that way. And water is boiling. And then I can just pour it in my jar here. I have excess now, just Just sadness my sink with it. So this one goes to this one. I put their names on the lid. But I don't think there'll be two kids there with the same. Mostly people parents go with those um cartoon characters. Them you know, I just went with the adults. In the morning, their father will just warm more food, dump the hot water, and pour the warm the hot food in those jars for them. So now I'm going to work on. Oh, I can show you what they are going to take to school. I don't know if you can see from here, but yeah, spaghetti and ground and gravy. So, I don't know, but somebody brought back a snack. So, I don't know if I will leave it here for them. I sell my husband lunch as well. And my youngest one, has his this morning I will serve them corn meal with mm -hmm. peanuts. Try to have. I think the way I'm just going to do it, there should be to have two, one apple each. In fact, I might even take some to to work as well. I just let my pan back on this off stove to dry before I put it on. my apples with soap. They are now organic. But anyway, so. And since that's light soap, light soap is very natural. So I just like to use it and wash them out. For some years, we didn't use it to brush our teeth. So because I didn't really, I was not sure if I remained to use food or toothpaste. There are so many uh, things about it online that I was not really sure. So I decided to just use our life to, to clean our teeth. And we did it for a few years. But now we went back to toothpaste. After some research, I found out that, well, the fluoride in the toothpaste is uh, a better quality. So I put in that one than the one in the tap water. Because the city puts some fluoride in the tap water, 
that dentists believe it was not necessary. In fact, um, take, uh, drinking the water with fluoride in it may not have the impact we are hoping on our teeth may not have that impact. So the one they use for toothpaste is a different type of fluoride and I mean, a better, has a better result. And I talked to my children's dentist as well and he, he said about the same thing. So finally we decided to just go ahead and use the fluoride, I mean a tooth, fluoride toothpaste. But then I went and just bought the cheapest one that I can find. So if you're on a budget, you don't need to buy an expensive toothpaste or anything like that. I, personally, I don't think it's necessary. They might have different flavor. Yes, I'm not going after flavor. I just want to brush my teeth. So, and, I, and in fact, I will use the same for the kids. I don't want them to think it takes, it smells good. Therefore, they should swallow it. So if it smells bad, that's a good reason for them to spit it out. So, usually kids' toothpaste is lower in fluoride than adult toothpaste. But since we just use the same, I just put a little bit on the toothbrush to brush their teeth. And I advise them to not swallow anything. When they are back in the evening, they wash their water, their water bottle, their food jar, and those little snack ball as well. Some of them are very good at washing their things. Some of them are done. It will take a while, a lot of talking to get some of them to get their work done. But I think it's a learning process for them as well. Yeah. Isn't that they are dependent for 18 years of their life? As a parent, I just said to myself that well, I had to just say the same thing over and over for myself for 18 years. I finally do regret it at one point. If it was a nice outside, I'll put my inside in my garden but it's cold outside so I'll just put in the trash some towels that I use for wiping dishes, washing dishes, grabbing spoon and fork for work and I didn't sell it on my Etsy store but you know recently I came across those towels it's like facial towels they work just fine so if you are on a budget you can give up purchasing toilet paper no, not toilet paper, but paper towel, and just go with those towels. The one that I sell is made out of flour sack. They are bleach. But I like them because they don't have length on them. I have to try to use bamboo. Uh, I saw bamboo wipes that I use. They dry dishes so well but you'll have a lot of length in your dishes so i they are good to wipe your hand in the bathroom but for dishes i would recommend using the bleach flower sack wipes that i sell 
uh, to just purchase those facial towers, they, they, they flower stuff that are sell dry very quickly. But those towers, they work just fine as well. So those are my snacks for the kids. It is now okay. Maybe not something is dirty here. So each one of them will get two snacks. Notice about those are just our uh, socks. They were brand new socks of mine, though, and I believe high in cotton. And I didn't use them for years, and I just decided, well, since I started decluttering my heart, my clothes, I might just repurpose them. And I thought, well, I can just wash dishes with them. And they look just fine, so I can buy sponge for them. This one will be for the youngest one. The girls. I don't know who put this here. I will just put it there. The girls don't have that. That's a snack. I like it when my fridge is empty. When it's like that, what I do is I will just grab a rack here, and this is um, cloth diaper because it has hole in all my three children we use cloth diaper. The oldest one started with disposal diaper before I switch after a year and a half they all use it so by the end of by the time the youngest one stop using them some of them have holes and I repurpose it just use it as a rug they are made out of hemp or bamboo organic hemp and bamboo so they are really good at cleaning wiping absorbing water so when my shelf is empty I will just wipe it that's how i clean my fridge when it a shell is empty i'll just wipe it that way i won't have to take everything out one day and to clean it and by the way i don't know why but i don't like to have a lot of things in my fridge my freezer can be full my fridge i don't know i like to have it empty by the end of the week I like to cook pretty much every single day. I can have meat, I can have stew in the fridge. But as for rice and pasta, I don't know, I like to ha have enough for next day lunch and that's it. Those things are so easy to cook. I don't even use a rice cooker, I just use my pen to cook my rice or my pasta. And they are so easy to cook that I don't like to have leftovers in my fridge. As you can see, there is another adult in the house, so there are products here that belong to her. And I think everything in here, beside this one, everything in here belongs to her. I 
have medicines here for cough or for wound, natural remedies that are made. And this is fermented cabbage that I have here. I have butter and I use sugar for something that I didn't feel comfortable leaving it out to put in the fridge. It has fermented, lacto-fermented um, cucumber that are made. 2018, I don't know if you can see it. 2018. Oh, I had to take this out. And this is um, Sado culture. Sado star. That's what I used to make our pizza. Sado pizza and Sado bread. So we have ketchup. This belong to the adult in the house as well. So I have ketchup, uh, cucumber, lacto fermented, cabbage. And this is onion infused honey. I give it to the kids when they have cold cough. It helps when they have cough. And this is honey and plantain. This one is peppermint oil, made 2018. So that's the medicine right there. I believe peppermint oil will go on wound. Honey and plantain, probably the same. I had to see why I made it. I don't remember the name of it. Yeah, they are here. Medicines. And I have egg, fruit. To turn it, I just put it here. And one last thing is my kefir. My kefir culture is right there. I like to keep it in the fridge. And even in the fridge, it ferments. And when I what I do is, I will once in a while, probably twice a month, I will drain that liquid off. It will be very thick. I'll drain it and pour another milk on it. And I'll add sugar and the kids love to drink it. So up here we have milk. My two, my husband's food. The kids lunch. And then the adult in the house is my mom. She has something there as well. Those three dishes here are the food that I have leftovers. The dishes at the back belong to my mom. So I like my fridge to be empty at the end of the week. I like when I see empty space that I can wipe very quickly. If my mom didn't have things there, I wouldn't, we wouldn't have a lot of things here either. If you can see the bottom is empty. This side is the freezer and I have few things here. When I have a little bit of meat, I will just put it here until it's full and then I will use it to make soup. That belongs to my mom as well. I think this paper belongs to her. I like to use this for bread. I can just go quickly into and serve the kids. And here I this I don't go to this bag they are going that I can use to make bone broth. This those two sessions my mom is putting things there. So we are just using those two sessions here. And she has a lot of things down here as well. I think the bottom here I have oil, I fried, and then I just pour the remaining oil here and put it in the freezer so that I can reuse it. 
and I have cross radish from the garden. I grill some to make a fish oil and then I just fold the rice. Well, I'm done with, you know, those are <laughs> repurposed baby blankets that my kids like to cover the table with. I wash them with my dish towels, and then we just keep them here. And they come and we just grab one for the table. I wipe my fridge with this, I can just wipe my stove as well. I like to put this at the corner here and I'll feed it for three days and then I will use it to make sado pizza. And I can just leave it on the floor here. We'll use it to wipe water on the floor. I'm going to put this in the basement. But I can just quickly use it to wipe my sink top. Have some water here. Share with us how you keep your house clean. Any tip you can share would be appreciated. Thank you for watching. I'm Nina from Nina Soap. You can visit us at www.ninasoap.com. And thank you for watching. We invite you to subscribe and share your comments with us to help us improve. Thank you.